Good morning, 8th graders. Um, as I mentioned yesterday and I think on Tuesday, instead of the review of just this week's lessons, we're reviewing all of um, what we've learned so far in this unit. And then there will be a quiz. So lessons 1 to 10. First, let me move this. The first lesson we just looked at, why would you move things around? Uh, and so here we just looked at these couple pages. So we have this first segment, AB, and then we moved it to where CD is. So things like that, you have this angle, you have two lines that would end up being parallel to each other. We looked at shapes. So here's the first one. You move it here, you flip it here, and then you turn it or rotate it here. Um, so just all kinds of things you can do to make them look different. Lesson two um, was just the basic properties. Um, and we only looked at translation, but rotation and reflection have the exact same properties. So a translation, rotation, and reflection maps a line to a line, a ray to a ray, a segment to a segment, and an angle to an angle, preserves the lengths of the segments, preserves the degrees of the angles. So stay the same length, the angles, measures are the same too. And then in lesson two, we looked at this one here. So everything um, is getting translated along HI right here. So we have this first segment gets moved down here. We have this angle that gets moved down here and this line that gets moved down here. So everything along this one here, okay? Lesson three, um, you translated shapes. So translate the triangle ABC along line L, label it triangle ABC. So we just moved it. Same size, same shape, just in a different spot. Lesson four, we looked at reflections. So it says reflect triangle ABC along DF. So we across DF, excuse me, then label it triangle ABC. Here we um, reflected it. Remember the point that was the closest, or if it's multiple, like with a square or rectangle, then those points are always basically just look. Think of it as a mirror image. If you folded it in half, everything would fold onto each other. Lesson five was rotation. So here we talk about rotating the figure 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Here we have clockwise, counterclockwise. If we were to rotate it 100 degrees, either clockwise or counter, 180, either clockwise or counterclockwise, it would lay just completely opposite of this. It looked like a reflection. Lesson six, we looked at points on a map. So rotate point A, which is at negative two, negative four, 180 degrees. So it's moving to here. Then what are the new coordinates? Two and four, because remember it's it's just the same. And then it, you could break it up into two 90 degree rotations. So we could rotate it here and then here. Seven, translate it or sequences of translations. So we translate ABC along EF. And then we translate it along UV. So this is two translations of ABC. Okay. Well, Lesson eight was sequences of translations and reflections. So we talked about which one happened first, the translation or reflection. Well, we moved it and then we reflected it across, oops, sorry. We reflected it across the line. So translation happened, then the reflection. And then yesterday's lesson was nine and 10. So we rotate triangle ABC around point D, label it um, ABC. And now it says rotate ABC around point E. So we do that again. Label ABC with two little slashes. So we could rotate it back to this one. It'd be a, about 180 degree rotation about points E and D, but still the same size, angle symmetry the same. And then lesson 10, we learned that rigid motion is the term used for reflections, rotations, and translations. So you can have a sequence of rigid motions or any combination of reflections, rotations, and translations. So we talked about which one is shown in shown by the figures, and it can be more than one. So here we have C and C closest to the line. So we know a reflection happened, but it also looks different. So it was reflected and then rotated. 
Okay. So that's it for the review. Um, if you still have questions, obviously let me know. Um, otherwise, your assignment is to take the quiz on Edmodo. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And Tuesday, we will um, address redos if needed. Um, but like I said, let me know if you have questions or review the video again. Otherwise, have a good Thursday.